Prophecy watchers feel that we're on the edge of some major, if not catastrophic events coming upon the earth. When we think of the words of Jesus and the signs of the times that he gave to his disciples about the end of days and about his second coming, we're all familiar with Matthew 24 and Luke 21, the parallel chapter, that when Jesus spoke about wars and rumors of wars, false prophets, uh, famines, pestilences, and earthquakes in many different places. But it's interesting that he said earthquakes. Now, there have always been earthquakes. But in the context of Jesus' teaching on that occasion, he likened it to the birth pangs of a, a woman in labor, if you like, uh, where the pains increase and become more frequent as the birth approaches. And the birth, of course, in this case, synonymous with his second coming. This is an article that I just read about the signs of the times as it relates to earthquakes and volcanic activity. We'll put the graph on the screen, but the U.S. Geological Survey, uh, the organization that's been tracking earthquakes for over 100 years, shows that since the year 2000, there's been an incredible increase in the frequency of earthquakes, but also in their intensity. Measured on the Richter, Richter scale as 6 point zero or higher. There have been a number of earthquakes. For example, in 2005, there were 33 major earthquakes. But in 2008, there were 47. In 2009, 54 earthquakes greater than six on the Richter scale. Last year, there were 73. You will see the graph, and you'll see how this graph uh, grows in the frequency, a number of earthquakes um, over the past 100 years. In, in 2014, there were 73, and this year so far, there have been 29. But it isn't just earthquakes that are happening. Volcanic activity is on the increase as well. And even in this month of June 2015, uh, a volcano in Alaska is acting up. The Kilauea volcano in Hawaii and the Hawaiian Islands is also um, acting up. And so to a place called Pagan Island in the northern Mariana Islands in the Pacific Ocean. The whole world, it seems, is groaning. But Jesus told us, believers in him, to watch these signs. These signs, earthquakes, pestilences, volcanic signs as well. Um, it's interesting that Joel in chapter 2 talks about pillars of smoke. Now that can be interpreted many different ways. But... What is a volcano if it doesn't send up pillars of smoke? And the Apostle Peter on the day of Pentecost referred to Joel's prophecy. And of course, the blood moon phenomenon is mentioned in that context as well. The moon will be turned to blood. There will be pillars of fire and smoke. The latter part of that suggests to me that that could mean volcanic activity. These signs taken together with all the other signs in the world the aggravation of Putin in uh, the Ukraine and in Eastern Europe, his threat to increase the number of nuclear weapons in Eastern Europe. All of these things um, are signs to us to watch and be ready for the coming of the Lord is near, perhaps even at the door.